Welcome to session two. In this session, we're going to make objects correctly collide with each other, create our townspeople, apply sound effects and music, control timing and events with alarms, and a whole lot more. So if you recall, we can still walk right through these barrels that we've placed in our town, which is not the behavior we want. But in order to have our objects recognize each other, we need to do what's something called collisions. There are many ways to do collision checks in Game Maker Studio 2, and we're going to explore a couple of them throughout this course. You can read about more of them in the uh, official manual by looking up collisions, but we're going to start with a simple one, collision point. So to do this, let's open up our player object and go to its step event. I'm just gonna make my event full screen here. And what we wanna do is edit these two lines in the if moving code block. Now, these lines here add the value of vx to the player's x value and the value of vy to its y value, which is lets us deal with horizontal and vertical movement. Now this is fine as it is, but we're going to add some if statements here to just check for something else. That way we won't actually just keep moving if there's something in the way. So let's add some code here to this code block. Currently, we can move horizontally or vertically no matter what. That's what this code says. So what we're going to do is add a check for each of these directions and make sure that there is not an environment object in front of us. If there is, then we can't move. So this sounds complicated, but we can do it with one simple line. So I'm going to type if collision point, and you can see that the function auto fills. And I'll just fill this out first. And I just want to explain this before we move on. Now, collision point is a function. It checks for a very specific point in space to see if there is something there. We determine through the arguments, which go into the parentheses, what it is we're looking for. If you haven't noticed this already, whenever you type in a function, GameMaker Studio 2 will give you a preview of what that function is and let you know what the arguments it needs are right down here. Very handy. So we need an X value, a Y value, the object we're looking for, whether we're making a very precise check and whether we want to ignore uh, objects such as ourself. The other thing you should note is that I put an exclamation point before this function. If I type this, if collision point, this means if the object I'm searching for is at this particular point. If I type in an exclamation point, it means if it is not. Just like we use if something is not equal to up here, we can use an exclamation point here to determine if a function is not true. So let's go ahead and fill this out. I'm going to add in x plus vx, y, and I'm going to search for obj underscore par environment. And for the next two arguments, I will put true because I want to make a precise check and true because I want to ignore myself. Now, here we're saying x plus vx, and vx is being calculated up here. If we're trying to move right, vx will be positive. It'll be uh, 16. If we're trying to move left, it will be negative. It'll be minus 16. So we're basically just looking ahead before we can move. And we're keeping y as just y because it's a simple check. We don't really need to check up or down when we're only checking for a horizontal movement. So now what this says is if there is not an object par environment at this particular location, I can go ahead and move horizontally. Let's go ahead and use that same code down here for the Y. And I'm just going to copy this and paste this below. And we'll just change this. So rather than checking ahead on the X axis, uh, axis rather, we're going to look ahead on the Y axis. And everything else will be the same. We're checking for object par environment, true, true. Now, because object barrel is a child of object par environment, this will still work. So let's go ahead and run the game and test. If I move now, you can see that I'm butting up against the barrel and I can't move past it, which is exactly what we want. However, also notice that if I go to the top with the barrel, I can't move here 
even though in the space and the way our game is designed, that doesn't quite make sense, right? The barrel is only on the ground here at its base, but we can't even move this close to it. That's because of something called collision masks. We're going to deal with this right now, so whenever you're done running around, close your game and return to Game Maker Studio 2.